Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to calculate orbital velocity. Now, what you need in this exercise are a pen, piece of paper, and definitely a calculator because in this particular formula, the numbers get kind of large, and especially with scientific notation involved, you'll definitely need that to help you with those large numbers. So, here we go. We're going to talk about the formula and uh, what's involved in each particular variable. Now, Let's talk about the definition of orbital velocity. It's also known as circular velocity, and it's the speed of a satellite in orbit around a planet. Now, in other words, it's the velocity required to keep that satellite in orbit. Now, here's the formula associated with that. It's a rather complicated looking square root, but uh, once you see what each of these stand for, then it wouldn't be too bad after all. So the velocity is the square root of g times m all that over r. So it's just three variables, but let's talk about what each of them means and what's involved. Now g is known as a gravitational constant. It is a number, it's in scientific notation, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th power. So that means every time you're going to calculate orbital velocity, you have to plug this number in place of g. Now what's going to vary is the letter m which is the mass of the planet. That could be any planet. Now, a lot of folks tend to use Earth because we use a lot of Earth-related applications, but what's also important is R. Now, R, you might think, is the radius. Now, it is related to the radius, but here's the actual definition of what R actually is. R is the distance from the satellite to the center of the planet. The emphasis is on the word center because a lot of folks will think that all they need is the uh, surface to the planet, but as you might imagine, because we're talking about the distance from the satellite to the center of the planet, the radius, the r, is going to be a lot larger than originally thought. But the r and the m are going to be the numbers that are going to vary from scenario to scenario, but what you want to plug in for sure that's fixed is the g in 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. Now, the numbers are generally going to be pretty large, so that's where the calculator comes in because you may have to do some simplification with scientific notation or just punch it in and into this one big square root. But once you plug all three of these numbers in, you'll definitely find your orbital velocity, otherwise known as your circular velocity. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you calculate orbital velocity.